1985, a Kenyan farmer started a project of Wambungu apple. After a lengthy research and studies, a fully developed Wambungu apple was first harvested in 1994, fast spreading to the rest of Kenya. Interested Namibians from different backgrounds and status flocked to the Habitat Research Center to learn more about this health beneficial and money-making apple. Kenyans now are producing their own apples. We are also having a lady market to UK, to, to Poland and other, other countries. We are having big market there. So now uh, we started, uh, now, now introducing into Kenya, we started now going to Africa, in East Africa and on e all these countries. And then now we came to Namibia. Now the journey begins here in Namibia. She says the apple can grow in any type of soil and has encouraged Namibians to impact on this journey. Apple can do in every climate and in every soil. So we started uh, uh, testing it in lucky areas, in lomi areas, in uh, sandy areas, and it did wonders. She has already introduced the production for Ambungu apple in other African countries, which was described as a great success. John Pandeni councillor John Monte is excited about this initiative, saying once executed, the production of Wambungu apple will enhance the region's economy and its residents. We support this event so that our community can be exposed and trained to various ways of planting fruit trees. After today, we want everyone present here to make a personal commitment to him or herself to do their utmost best to become a successful entrepreneur one day by selling fruits or eating from their own garden. Commerce Governor heaped praised on the Apple project, hoping that it will be a blessing for Namibians. She emphasized the need to replicate the project to all the regions for the rest of the country to benefit from it. This training today is just a starting point to lay that fertile foundation and the overall objective is to take this training to all the other 13 political regions of our beloved country of, Bra of the Brave. We should all take note that tomorrow belongs to people who prepare for it today. If you don't prepare tomorrow today, there will be no tomorrow for you. The training is organized by the Sun Development Program in partnership with the Commerce Regional Council and Kenya's Wambungo Apple Project.